we are going to Tin City District of Paso Robles, right on the border of Paso and Templeton. It's a cool area with, I think, at last count, there's like 32 small retail shops. You got um, a ton of wineries. I think 90% of that 32 is uh, tasting rooms. You got a couple of restaurants. There's actually a Michel Michelin star uh, rated restaurant in there. Um, a, a very good brewery that's been there kind of uh, for a long time. I think that was a, one of the first uh, spots to go in there. But uh, just a cool spot. We're going to check out some of the places right now. Oh, and then the Grante ice cream is in there too. We're going to go get some something sweet over there. All right, so this is the, the 10 city district of Paso Robles. And uh, in this area, you're going to find a bunch of uh, wineries. Some, uh, there's a great brewery. There's a fantastic cider spot. There is also a, an amazing Italian restaurant and Italian uh, deli, if you want to call it that. But uh, the thing I love about Tin City is it's a one, one stop shop. Basically, you get here, you park, you can spend the day here. You, if you don't like beer, then go to the wineries. If you don't like wine, go to the breweries, uh, go to the, uh, the cider spot. But you're basically a captive audience here. Once you park your car, you're good to go for several hours. All right, I think this is the only place to get uh, some uh, authentic Hawaiian cuisine here in San, Lu San Luis Obispo County. This is Kilo Kilo Brewing Company. Unfortunately, they're not open quite yet. We're shooting a little early right now, but uh, they actually make their own beers right here on site. And they have a cool little kitchen here. Yeah, they're making some really good um, Spam Musubis especially. Um, the Mocha Loco plate is really nice, and also the Kalua pork is fire. So if you haven't been here, this is Kilo Kilo right outside of Ten City. All right, so I'm in front of Eto Pasta Bar, but they actually do a lot more stuff than just pasta. They have a ribeye and a Florentine steak on the menu, whole roasted chicken for dinner as well, but some uh, great looking pastas, some daily special pizzas are in there as well. The cool thing about this uh, Eto location, it's one of the few places that actually serves food in all of this 10 city area, which uh, you know, is to their uh, benefit. And then down here, you have his store, and this is your traditional uh, Italian deli where you can get your uh, sliced meats, uh, your breads, um, all your little um, jars of stuff in there. You got some pasta sauce, some marinara's, but a great little store, some fresh cheeses. Just check it out if you're here. And this is a six test kitchen. This is the uh, Michelin star restaurant that I referenced in an earlier video this week. One of only two Michelin star restaurants in all of San Luis Obispo County. And I sure am thirsty. This is 10 City Cider right here. We're about to go check out what ciders they have on tap. Sure am thirsty. Uh, I went with the original Dry Hop Cider here, 6.9% alcohol. Just a classic, always on uh, tap here. So this is, the, uh, this is where you get cider here. Through the back door there, there's uh, beer options. And the next door, this is a really good tasting room called Sans Liege. If you speak French, I probably butchered that. My apologies. All right, that cider quenched my thirst. Now I need something sweet. This here is a Negranti Creamery. They have locations, obviously here in Tin City, but they have one in downtown Paso as well. One in Tascadero, and Google Maps says there's one in Boise, Idaho, of all places. So let's see what they got in here. Hey, hey what's happening? Mm, this is good. This is a little kitty cup. Only five fifty. You get two flavors, and I went with the uh, the vanilla bean, uh, sheep's milk. By the way, most of this stuff is made from sheep's milk. Bah. And then on the bottom is the blackberry cabernet combo sorbet. So no milk in this at all. Delicious, man. They also give you this little fresh baked waffle chip that they make right there. This place is fire. Got to hit it up. All right. 
sure I'm thirsty again. And thank goodness uh, Barrow House Brewing Company is right here in Ten City as well. They ba basically uh, put this place on the map about 10 years ago is when they opened up. And some of the things I love about this spot, A, their beers are fantastic. They have about 18 different options on the menu. B, they have this fantastic all-you-can-eat little mini pretzel station with mustard, of course. So once you get your pretzels and your mustard, you got your beer, I'll give you a little tour of this joint. They do all their brewing right here on site. These are the big old tanks. Plenty of indoor seating. If you fancy yourself a little uh, sorry or Yahtzee or uh, what else is in there? Worst case scenario, a little Scrabble, help yourself. And then if you want to be outdoors, I got a big covered tent outside with some heat lamps, of course, to uh, keep you warm on these uh, cold Paso days and nights. All right, so outdoors here at the uh, Barrow House uh, Brewing Company, they have a monster property here. It's awesome. Family friendly, dog friendly too. Have all this outdoor seating, a cool little fountain. They even put in this uh, little fire pit. And if you come all the way back here, they have a, uh, a stage where they get some actually pretty big names of uh, performers coming through here throughout the year. There's a stage down there to the right. They have a uh, they normally have some cornhole a board set up over there. They have some cornhole tournaments. And this place is absolutely packed, especially during the summertime. If you haven't been here, come through.